man may be unwittingly changing the world's climate through the waste products of his civilization. This is bad. Well, it's been calculated a few degrees rise in the Earth's temperature would melt the polar ice caps. And if this happens, an inland sea would fill a good portion of the Mississippi Valley. Tourists in glass-bottomed boats would be viewing the drowned towers of Miami through 150 feet of tropical water. What scientists are telling us now is that the threat of an ice age is not as remote as they once thought. During the lifetime of our grandchildren, Arctic cold and perpetual snow could turn most of the inhabitable portions of our planet into a polar desert. Every October, a hole appears in the ozone layer over the South Pole. The hole in the ozone shield is the size of the continental United States. The protective ozone layer is being threatened as never before. We're all at risk. Computer models that successfully explain the climates of other planets predict the deaths of forests, parched croplands, the flooding of coastal cities, the environmental refugees, widespread disasters in the next century. This is Mount Kilimanjaro more than 30 years ago and more recently. And a friend of mine just came back from Kilimanjaro with a picture he took a couple months ago. Within the decade, there will be no more snows of Kilimanjaro. That there is a 75% chance that the entire North Polar Ice Cap during summer, during some of the summer months could be completely ice-free within the next five to seven years. British paper, the Daily Mail reports the polar ice cap expanded by 60% in just one year. Every week we're seeing new and undeniable climate events, evidence that accelerated climate change is here right now. Our oceans are acidifying with methane plumes rising up from the ocean floor. We are seeing extreme weather events and the West Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets melting at unprecedented rates, decades ahead of scientific projections. None of this is rhetoric, and none of it is hysteria. A glimpse of our children's fate if the climate ch keeps changing faster than our efforts to address it. Submerged countries, abandoned cities, fields that no longer grow, political disruptions that trigger new conflict, and even more floods of desperate peoples seeking the sanctuary of nations not their own. And we're like, the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. How dare you?